hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel so guys in today's video i will be showing you how to make this super stylish and easy crop top don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you love it so let's get started i got about two requests asking to make this or to show how to make this I made this off camera actually, but I'm going to be showing and explaining the steps to achieving this crop top. For this, we are using our basic bodice pattern. I want this to be a beginner friendly video, so and I have a video showing how to make the basic bodice pattern on my channel if you don't already have that. So you can go ahead and watch how to draft your own basic bodice pattern. So I'm going to transform my basic bodice pattern onto fresh pattern paper because I don't want to mess this up. You need to decide on the length of your top. So the full length of my top is about 17 inches, about 16 and a half actually. Yes, about 16 and a half inches. So the belt is about 2 inches and the top itself, the upper part is 14 and a half inches. You go ahead and draft your bodice pattern up to your required length. So I would advise if you're like my height, about 15, just draft it to about 15 inches and use the remaining half inch as sewing allowance so i'm going to go ahead and transfer this onto fresh pattern paper to about 15 inches so after drafting your front bodies go ahead and draft your back bodies directly beside it just side by side up to the same point the same length so i use 15 inches yeah i'm going to use 15 inches on the back as well when i'm doing this i'm going to remove my zip allowance and this is because this top doesn't have a zip in fact the back is open so we don't need the zip allowance so i'm just going to fold the zip allowance in and then draft it up to the length that i want beside the front pattern that i drafted so this is my front bodice and this is my back bodice up to my desired length i'm going to put this away now so once we're done with this we're going to go ahead and make it um make some adjustments so now from this tip here from this armhole I'm going to go ahead and measure two and a half inches in and I'm adding half inch because I'm also considering um, folding it in and you know so basically I've added allowance otherwise I'll have used two inches but two and a half inch and you need to decide how low you want it to be so for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to make it 10 inches low so basically this again depends on you and now you're going to connect these points that we marked here all the way to this 10 inch point that we marked so i'll go in with red paint to do all my corrections so you guys can see like this and now you're going to go in by a quarter inch on this line this is because this is just to make this firmer because you know it's a v-neck and you want to make it as firm as possible so just go in by a quarter of an inch and connect this point here to this new point. So it's almost like taking a dart over here. Yes. So don't forget that in the pattern piece that we used, we already had um, allowance. So there's already allowance for sewing. So you don't need to worry about that. And there's allowance for sewing at the sides as well so you don't need to worry about that so i'll just go in here with your red pen so you guys can see so here is our new line so yes this is it so basically you can make this as deep as you want if you want it to be even deeper let me say 12 and a half inches for instance i'm just gonna mark and just go ahead and extend this new point here down to your 12 and a half inches the yeah so basically this is very much dependent on you you can make it this deep you can basically just explore your wings i don't want i don't like to say oh do this this particular way but especially when it comes to style lines because i just want people to be able to express their you know inner fashion 
rebel whatever so yes just do whatever you want so if you want it deeper if you want it even short so basically i'm just teaching people the principle you need to reduce this place because you need this to be firmer so by a quarter of an inch should be fine and you just make it as deep as you want it to be so now we're going to do exactly the same thing we did for the front at the back so you know we extended this by two and a half inches from this place you will extend it as well because the front and the back shoulder should be the same and you're going to in you're going to go one inch above at this point i noticed when i made that when, when i made mine that this was really really helpful i had to go back to do it because the back just didn't sit well when i use the same i guess because it doesn't have a zip or because you're supposed to tie it at the back so it's tied at the back but when it was the same length with the front it didn't look good but i think i can also understand because we pattern drafting in um, using the natalie gray method they always tell you to extend your center front by about one centimeter while you leave your back the same so i guess the back always needs to be shorter than the front but yes for this i need to extend my back reduce my back by about one inch so just go ahead do this and connect connect it to your center to your side seam because the side seams need to be the same so once you do this you might you need to make some correction because when you fold it it will be the same again so just fold it like this and go in to get the correct line i hope you guys understand so now this is the new dot line so i'm just gonna connect this here this is basically just to make sure you get the correct line when you actually sew your dots so next you're going to connect this mark here this two and a half inch mark down to this line that we have here so i'm just going to go in with broken lines to make sure i get the right line so this right here is going to be your new back for this for this style and this will be your new front bodies so i'll go ahead now and cut this out also for the back bodies don't forget to go in by a quarter of an inch at this point as well like we did for the front bodies this is actually very important guys speaking from experience i don't want you guys to make the same mistakes that i made you are going to cut one of this not two and you are going to cut this on a fold you are going to cut this on a fold you're going to cut one of this and you're going to cut two of this so you can decide to cut two of these and have a center line seam center front seam if you want but i cut mine on a fold so i didn't have a center front seam so this is it here i cut two of i cut this on the fold i sewed my dots i also cut a lining i also cut the lining piece the same thing you can choose to line yours or not if you are not lining yours you will need to go in with um maybe like a bias tape to finish up the edge to finish up the edges nicely but if you are lining yours you just cut the same thing on your lining and on your main garment so you cut this on the fold and then you cut two of the back so one for each side one for each side so after cutting sew your that sew your that on all your pieces and you're going to sew the front and the back together using the shoulder tip over here and also using the side seam so once you join the sides and the shoulder seams together your dress is pretty much your top is pretty much ready this this is a very easy and quick top to make once you're done with this you would also be needing a belt so just cut a long belt mine is about 70 inches you can even make yours longer and the width of my belt that's the size from here to here so the width is 70 inches and the length was about five inches but that's because it's um, i'm going to fold it so if you're cutting on fold you only need about two and a half inches if you're cutting straight then you need five inches so when you fold it it's going to be about two and a half inches so i cut my belt then i attach my belt to my main body basically the same way you attach your waistband that's the same way you're going to attach this and you're done 
so it's very easy very straightforward i hope you guys understand please feel free to ask questions down below if you need any more clarification but yes that is how i made this top mm -hmm.